You're watching Spectrum News 1. It's 11 o'clock. All right, moving now to our health beat. California. California is facing a physician shortage. Yes, a study out of UC San Francisco's Health Force Center finds that by 2030, the Golden State will be short more than 10 thousand primary care clinicians. Our Joe Kwan shows us a program being offered to college kids now in any field of study, all in hopes of sparking interest in the medical field. Joe. Young adults are learning to do real life doctor stuff here in this room. I'm Joe Kwan at Ultimate and Commerce. I'm going to tell you about a program that's partnered with Charles Drew University to expose more people to the medical field. So we're definitely in there. The needle is in, and this student can breathe a sigh of relief. The patient is alive and well, getting rehydrated. <laughs> this is Rosa Magana's first time inserting a needle oh, okay. in anything. She studied art and international development in college. When I worked in those fields, I realized there was something missing. She decided she needed a change. I wanted to get in the medical field mainly because I wanted to help people. That's why she applied and got into the Health Careers Opportunity Program offered through Ultimate and Charles Drew University. She's learning from medical professionals about things she would do if she were to head into the field. That's the hardest part, right, is getting comfortable with the equipment. Dr. Efrain Telemontes says the goal of the program is to help fill a growing physician gap, especially among Latino physicians. A recent UCLA study found California has the lowest rate of Latino doctors in the country, a rate of 50 per 100,000 people. That's nearly half the national rate. The state also has the largest Latino population in the U.S., according to the Pew Research Center. At Altamed, we take care of primarily Latino, Spanish-speaking patients, and many times we need physicians who can speak the, uh, the language and understand the culture. The course is only six weeks, but the doctor says he's hopeful it will help to shrink the gap. We wish they could stay longer, but we know that they're going to continue, become health professionals, and come back. Uh, and serve our communities. Rosa says she can't wait to get started. She plans to apply for med school, what may be her biggest challenge. A study out of UCLA says U.S. med schools admit very few Latino students. So hopefully this time next year, um, I'll be starting. For now, practice makes perfect. Okay, Just pull it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Rosa was pretty nervous to inject the patient. I am, but I'm glad I got to practice on a hot dog. <laughs> and after doing this and giving the hot dog, it's shots, the future doctor is happy to report. The patient is still alive. And she says she hopes to help many real-life patients from her community and underserved communities stay healthy. Such a great program. We need more like it. The pipeline of Latino students into the medical field. Just so well, we were just talking many universities across the country are offering tuition well, forgiveness. A year ago, NYU said that it was going to forgive all tuition for all of its medical students. That's about $55,000 a year. And then just this last April, uh, Washington University in St. Louis said it's going to do it. That's about $65,000 a year. UCLA gets a tremendous number of scholarships if you offer to serve an underserved community. Is that the truth? Wow. Mm -hmm. Interesting. We'll be back.